everybody, everyone. This is Trisha, and welcome to my channel. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to my home. Today, I'm going to be doing a short little tour of the decor that I have done for Christmas. I also have a little project that I'm going to be doing to fulfill a little decor space that I need done. So come on in and let's take a look. All right, everyone. So this is the entry as you walk into my home and I've got some decor here. Let me show you what I have. On the side here, I have a little Christmas tree wall decor that I created with Dollar Tree items. If you saw the video, you're familiar with this craft. And off to the other side of the entry, I have this shelving and there is a little mini Santa that I have done. I have given away a lot of the decor that I did do this year. Uh, some of it, uh, well, the supplies were paid for by others, so they got to keep it. And here I put my Santa. This Santa is one that I had on a wreath last year. The wreath that you saw outside on my door is what I repurposed. So now, now my Santa is standing here. And I love this. This is a three or is it four windmills and they were on a piece of wood and I found this at Hobby Lobby and I fell in love. So all I've done is I've put some garland around it with some pine cones, some berries, lights, and I even placed two little reindeer right there. And the lights are also dangled up along on the windmills. Uh, down here I just have some photographs, my grandmother with her son and or my uncle and my mom's picture and uh, some beautiful looking antlers that I purchased at Hobby Lobby I believe and hanging from here I have a little bucket and bell garland and I added these little uh, lights that have these little kind of a wiry kind of little stars on them. Those are all battery operated, so it's easy to turn off and on. And here I have a cabinet. That cabinet I also purchased at Hobby Lobby. Inside of it I don't have much except for some little angels, so they're not very Christmassy except it's just some angels that I keep all the time. But I did put a little string of lights in there. I thought they would look cute. And a reindeer down there at the bottom. And here is a arrangement, an arrangement that I created also, where I took a regular uh, spring arrangement and turned it into a Christmas by adding poinsettias, berries, and some cotton stems. And then here's some little decor just on the side, a little angel, and some pretty little pictures hanging up here to kind of give me that sort of farmhouse feel. And I think this whole entry kind of gives you a little bit without being too much. All right, let's go on to the next room. This is my living room. It is not very big. It is very modest, but I love it. So let's walk on down here. I just have this chair next to this faux fireplace that my husband built. You'll notice that the sound has suddenly changed in here because there's a carpet on the floor and uh, it helps with the sound. Okay, so here's the, the garland that I reused that I created last year and I put it on my fireplace and you saw that where I also hung a windmill ornament on it and then my faux fire and if you didn't see uh, the video where I spoke about that uh, that faux fire is just some logs from Walmart some Christmas lights uh, placed the in you know kind of in there and covered a little bit with the logs and then I put some little pine sprays there so it just kind of gives us a little bit of a glow and uh, we don't need the heat <laughs> we've got plenty of that here so that's good enough on the top of the faux fireplace or the mantle I have put some more garland and I've put some lights in it some cotton stems some extra pine bits that I had left over more pine cones and there we go some little berries all the way down to the other side and I've got these beautiful wooden Christmas trees. My husband loved those. Those are from Hobby Lobby, as well as the reindeer, and I love those. Uh, 
Here are some candles that I put together in another arrangement and I decided to take it apart and just put them by themselves behind the garland. I felt that I wanted the candlesticks to show a little bit more than what I had before. Another reindeer and another little Christmas tree, both from Hobby Lobby. On the sides here, I just hung these ornaments that I found at a store called At Home. Little star, kind of, a, they're like a grapevine. And they're both, uh, I have extra ones on the other side here as well. There we go, just like that. We'll just show you real quick this little hallway over here. And here I've got this mirrored uh, wall decor that I have all year long. And it kind of moves from room to room, but I have settled it here in this little hallway. And so I've added this little artwork and it says, have yourself a merry little Christmas because that's one of the songs that just kind of sticks into my head and I sing it as I'm decorating. And I've put a piece of garland here with some battery operated lights. I've put some little twigs in there and, and I've snuggled in this little church. This is from a, the Dollar Tree. It's an ornament and I've cut off the, the top where it hangs from and I just decided that it would just be a, an ornament that I would tuck into this garland. And I placed a little light inside so that that could look lit up. Down here I have this lovely ornament that has this little red truck theme on it. There's a little bridge barn that it's going to be driving through. And then of course these lovely cream colored stockings. Up here I have this uh, joy that I created for one of my videos. Uh, that was fun to do. I love it. I think it looks really cute. It's really quirky. And then over here I've got one of these candy canes. I use these to create a sleigh but then I ended up taking it apart because I decided that I liked it best as just a candy cane with a lot of mesh curls in it. Okay, let's go back into this living area. And as you can see, there's my my dog. <laughs> She's part of the Christmas decor as well. Okay, and let's show you here. There is her little bed right there. And I've kept my couches simple with these a sweater textured covered throw pillows. And I'll probably be throwing a warm throw. It hasn't been too cold uh, here in South Texas. We've had a few cold days, but I didn't really need one. But now I feel like I'm going to go ahead and pull one out. Right above is this mirror where I've done those mini uh, wreaths that you saw me do. And if, you saw, if you've been watching my videos. And then above that is that garland. Uh, right above that farmhouse framed art or artwork, whatever you want to call it. And right over here keeping things again very simple. I have a little wooden kind of a house. I don't know if it's a house or a church or a barn, but it's so cute. And I put some tea lights in there. Uh, they're battery operated. So that just gives a little bit of a glow in there. A little wooden angel. That is my oldest son, Christopher, when he was in the Marines. And I decided to place that picture there on these uh, wall decor that I have on either side of my window. I have decided to hang these little ornament icicles and I believe those I also got them from Hobby Lobby and I've hung three on some invisible thread and then I just put a I've hung four actually now that I see that I decided to put a burlap ribbon where I hung that ornament from and that went right on top to give me a little bit of a decor there without being you know too obvious in your face because I wanted to keep things simple and I'll explain why <laughs> and here's my tree and I think I explained the bottom of the tree. Usually we put our Christmas tree in that tin bucket that you see back there in the background, but the stand of this tree would not fit in it and we didn't want to rig it and uh, take it apart and then, you know, put stuff to hold it in the bucket. So what we decided to do was just to grab some fabric and a rope and we wrapped it around the bottom and we stuffed it with some, you know, some quilting batter, batting, uh, quilters batting uh, to make it poofy and tied it with a rope and made it look like a bag, like the tree is still in its soil bag before you plant it. Okay, well, I've got some gifts there. They haven't uh, been prepared quite yet. They need some uh, bows on that. So I might do a little video about that. Um, we'll see if time permits. So now that bucket that I have there, I decided to put a little blanket in there and it's got some gifts in there and um, cute little stocking that's gonna be for my future grandchild because as I told you all I'm going to be a grandmother yes 
and I'm very happy. That's my kitty's uh, new little bed. Uh, he hasn't quite uh, decided that he likes it. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so then over on this other side, I've got my other end table, and I've got this cute little tin house. And I just purchased this as my grocery store. I thought I could put a candle in there, but there's really nothing to nowhere to open it up. And I thought, well, maybe I could just cut into it and put a candle in there. But I decided that the light from the lamp comes through it just fine, so that was enough. Here I got this little uh, canister. And it says holiday greens for 75 cents each. And they say, what is it? Tree Farm Holiday Greens. So I decided to just stuff some holiday greens in there. That's all I put in there. Kept it very simple. There's not even any styrofoam in there. And that is my youngest son, Nathan. He is right now serving in the Marines. And uh, both of my sons are home for Christmas. And here is the other wall art on the other side of the window that has the same decor and then over here we have our farmhouse themed clock and we have this windmill wall decor that i also did a video on how i decorated that to show you that you can take you know any wall art that you might have and actually add some decor to it and my dog has decided to move to this other spot. <laughs> okay, well there we go. And I'm stepping on a toy, I think. And there's just a nice uh, warm blanket and a nice cozy pillow. That's where my husband sits. And I usually sit on this other little corner. We usually have our desks with our laptops there, but as you can see, it's nice and clean and clear of clutter. All right, so we're gonna turn around. I don't have a very big home. Here we go. Nice little carpet leading into the kitchen. But there I've got this cabinet that used to belong to my grandmother. That is something that my grandfather built many, many moons ago. And I have, uh, I took off all the varnish that was on it. And then I've painted it white and then now I painted it black and it's just stayed like that for years. And I've got some family pictures in there. I decided to put some garland across the top and then kind of hanging off to the side. Kept it very simple with a couple of little bows. Here's my dining room table. I don't have it all set up with plates and placemats. Like I said, this year I decided to keep it free of clutter and just keep it nice and clean. That snowman that I made last year that everybody loves with the pumpkins. I have him right in that little corner. And then I've just got some little things here. I've got a little hanging there from the Dollar Tree. I put a little bow and a little poinsettia and then on the top, just tuck some things here and there. I didn't pull out my Christmas dishes this year. I decided that I was going to go the old fashioned way. As many of you that are about my age, uh, young, 40s to 50s and above, uh, you all remember that when our grandmas and our moms, we would decorate for Christmas, unless we were some fancy schmancy people, uh, we didn't remove things and replace them with Christmas things. We just put Christmas things where the items that are still there just kept on remaining. Just added a few things, so that's what I did. I decided to keep my, my temptations set out and not replace it. And then I just added some little Christmas things. It's a little Christmas mini uh, snowman with glassware that I made from the Dollar Tree. That's a project from last year. And uh, just kept all those things there. I've moved that little snowman that I had in my cocoa bar over here. I've just filled these little bowls right here with some little leftover ornament balls from the Dollar Tree. That's all that's there, little Santa. And that's it, and I put a bow right there. That's all I've done in this little section. All right, so then we're gonna move around. I don't have anything on that door. I might hang something, but there will be something on the outside of it. Here's my cocoa bar, and you saw me do that and, uh, in a previous video. That didn't uh, take much to do. It's just something that we all wanna be able to just grab things easily, so I put out everything from coffees, teas, and cocoa. Made it easy for everyone just to grab and snack on that. All right, so that is it. Um, I don't do very much in my kitchen because I do a lot of cooking, so I don't place too many things in there. Uh, I try to keep it, you know, as clear as I can because I need, don't want to have to have food particles over all of my Christmas decor. But that being said, I decided to put this snowman behind my sink. There's a little sleigh right there up on the counter there. I did put that little uh, bit of greenery little pine with pine cones in that little rooster bucket and then i decided to put my lighted 
a little house in there, my little village scene right in there. I thought it re looked really cute here. And because I have a microwave on the other side, it kind of kind of mimics a little bit of that on this side. And you'll notice there's some green kind of lights and there's a bluish tone over there. I got these under the counter lights from Sam's and I can change the colors with a little remote control. So I've placed that under there and I think it looks really great. Okay, so let's just move back here real quick. And um, if you'll notice here, there is an empty wall right there. And I want to make something for that wall. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So let's look at the stuff that I've uh, put aside to do that. All right, so I have this little kind of a garden fence or a little gate that I had decorated for spring with some flowers. I made a floral spray. Uh, that went upward and then to the sides here. I've taken all that off and you can see there the hot glue that is left over from the massacre of that. But I'm going to go ahead and redecorate this for Christmas. So I've got some garland here that I'm going to use. I've got a spray of pine with a pine cone, berries, and a little red cardinal. I've got this that one here was from a store called, uh, it was from a craft store in downtown in another city. It was called Floreria Lee. Some of you had asked that are, that are here from the Rio Grande Valley what that store was called, and it's on 10th Street. So that's where I got that from. 10th Street and Jackson, I believe, is what the, the other road is. Okay, so then I got these from the Dollar Tree, little poinsettias. And then I've got also from a store, I think it was from that same store actually, these little cotton sprays, but they do have them like at Hobby Lobby. And I do have a video where I show you how to put some of those together. And then I've got some scented pine cones. They're nice cinnamony scented pine cones. I'm gonna put them in there so that we can smell, you know, we can have the scent here in the kitchen. And then I've got some ribbon. I've got some uh, kind of burlapy ribbon. And then this other kind of uh, burlap ribbon that has some print. This one is from the Dollar Tree. I think this was probably from a Hobby Lobby roll. I've got my glue gun, glue sticks. I've got a chenille stand, my scissors, and my wire cutter. So we're going to go ahead and put this together so that then I can hang that right over there. Okay, so I'm going to start off by putting some of this garland on this little wooden, uh, kind of a little gate, if it, you will, or a little fence post. I don't know what it is, but I thought it was really cute. And I used it uh, to decorate, uh, make an arrangement for spring, as I told you before. And of course, uh, you can use anything like this, or you could use uh, maybe a frame that is old, maybe the glass broke and uh, you haven't uh, been able to use it because you know it's kind of expensive to replace glass especially if you have a big frame like this or maybe a little bit bigger and you just don't know what to do with them maybe the frame the wood is very nice and you didn't want to throw it away so you can uh, reuse it and if you don't mind putting some hot glue on it then go for it and then of course you can just rip things off of it and then redecorate it for another season or just use some regular greenery and all you have to do is just tuck in little things here and there that'll make it Christmassy or make it, you know, for Valentine's or so forth, uh, whatever season you want to do. Okay, so I don't mind doing this to mine. I don't mind ripping things off and then redoing it because I'm gonna cover up all the nasty glue that's already on there. So let's go ahead and put lots of glue on here uh, because I am going to put the garland going across the bottom on here. I'm not gonna put it all the way to the end here. I'm just gonna put it right here in the front and push down so it glues. And then I'm going to just bend my garland upward and I'm going to see how much of this I need. And I think before the items that I had only went up to a certain point and I can see the glue here where it only went up to that point. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my garland right there. I could just fold it over and have like a really thick piece of garland, lots of pine, but I'm gonna go ahead and trim this off. I could put this somewhere in my kitchen actually and let me go ahead and just glue now that piece or that uh, other end down put lots of glue again I need to get another glue stick in here there we go Okay, so this year <laughs> uh, I was I decided that I wanted to do a farmhouse theme. I love that look, and uh, I was going to redo everything completely and uh, 
I did do some early purchasing uh, at Hobby Lobby and I did some items at Dollar Tree during the summer. So as soon as they had Hobby Lobby, you know, I had all their Christmas, which they do in June. And then there's another craft store that I like to go to, a flower uh, supply store, really. And um, they already had some Christmas stuff. So during the summer, I had already made my plans. I decided what all my videos were going to be. And uh, I, I purchased a lot of things that I felt could go a long way. Like I got bushes of white poinsettias because I felt that would go better with a farmhouse thing than some red ones. And I decided that the red would be in berries. If you've been watching my videos, you already know this. So uh, warning, there's gonna be a lot of blabbering and a lot of rambling. Okay, so anyway, um, I purchased a lot of things that I felt could be shared with many projects, not just one. And I could save myself a little bit of money that way and not spend quite as much as I did the year before. And uh, since I wasn't gonna use a lot of the decor from the year before, uh, I felt like uh, I don't want to spend a lot, but I'm going to go all out and I'm going to see how far I can go. So I gave myself a bit of a challenge. Now my challenge kind of got a little bit of a curveball because <laughs> we found out we were going to be grandparents. That's right. So uh, I decided that, you know what, I'm not going to spend a lot of money on Christmas decor because I really, really want to start getting things for my grandbaby. Uh, so I have been, and if you, again, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I have been repurposing some items. I have been using things that I've had uh, that were a spring arrangement and I made it Christmassy. I'm taking something like this, taking off the spring, and now I'm adding Christmas to it. And uh, I've also made my supplies go a long way. So instead of making like really full arrangements and things like that, I decided to just keep things a little more simpler, a little more clean. And of course, some of you may think, well, I saw some of your stuff and they had a lot of stuff. Yes, because I did have a lot of little things here and there that I purchased and a lot of it was from the Dollar Tree. And not to mention the fact that as I was going along and started finally doing my videos uh, to post, I was getting a lot of suggestions, a lot of people asking, well, can you do this, can you do that? Uh, so I ended up kind of, you know, nixing some, um, projects that I wanted to do to do those particular projects. Uh, one of them being the, uh, the uh, stuff that I did with the tomato cages. Uh, I decided that uh, someone wanted to see a Christmas tree, so I did a Christmas tree. And actually, my sister-in-law actually ended up purchasing all the supplies for that, so she ended up with that. And then someone else suggested an angel, so I did an angel. And that actually went to my mother-in-law because I also did a mini little angel and I gave her that and I did that with all Dollar Tree items and you saw that. So a lot of my stuff uh, went a long way and I have actually some of the projects that I have made in my videos, I have taken them apart and done something else with the supplies from that. So that's why, and I think I said this in one of my videos, uh, I ended up not spending what I thought I would. Okay, so what am I doing here? Well, I've taken this spray and normally uh, what we do is we find a spray like this and we think oh great and we stick it into something and then all that product that is in this one spray gets put in one spot so then what do you think oh my gosh I'm gonna need like three or four to fill up everything so you end up spending more money that way so what you do is you just buy one or two and just take them apart as I'm doing right here take as much of it as apart as you can and then take these other these items that you have taken and then spread those out and uh, the main things that you want uh, keep them on there. I'm going to go ahead and remove this one as well. Uh, a lot of this you could probably yank it and pull it apart but I'm trying to be a little careful here. <laughs> I'm not cutting myself because I have many times already while I'm doing my videos. Okay because I'm not paying attention to my hands but rather what's on the camera and down here. Okay so now I'm going to go ahead and put this in my arrangement, it's got a long stick here. I could cut it off with my wire cutters, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bend it because I kinda want this little bird and this big pine cone to be in this little corner. So I'm gonna place them. I'm opening up my, my garland here, making like a little bed for it, if you will. And I'm gonna place them right in there. I'm gonna pour some glue right at the base. There we go right there and then I'm going to twist a couple of these little uh, branches around that stick. Do the same over here. 
twist some branches and that'll hold it right in place. And then over here where it's got this heavy pine, I'm also gonna put some glue. That's just so it doesn't flop on me, okay? And then around one of the stems that comes up here that's got some berries, I'm going to take, again, some of this garland and then just twist the little branches around it and that'll hold on to that. And then just maneuver things so that they look nice. Like that, bend it inward a little bit so it doesn't stick out so much. And that's what I've done right there. And now these little extra pieces can now be spread out. Like this big piece, it's very bushy. I'm gonna put glue on it, stick it over here kind of at the end. Again, just twist a little bit of the garland around it so that it holds it on, holds onto it even though you've put glue. Now I'm gonna take some of these flowers. I'm gonna push up the little leaves on them. And I always cut my flowers at the longest point when I cut them off of bushes to separate them and make stems. But now I can go ahead and now cut them even shorter. Now, I'm gonna give you a little tip. Don't cut them at all and instead just fold it and then just tuck in the the uh, stick, the stem, into your garland, and then just tie down the flower, again, with a couple of uh, little garland br uh, branches. Don't twist them too much because they're gonna end up not existing anymore. There's gonna be a knot there. Just twist them a couple of times, just enough to hold the flower. The flower's not heavy at all. And then just kind of make sure that the end of that stick is pushed into the garland. And then you didn't have to even glue it down. So then after the holidays, you can easily remove these flowers and uh, you know, then uh, if you wanna do the same with the pine cone and, that, I, that I put on here, not put any glue, you can do the same thing. Me being me, I'm gonna hug glue everything. <laughs> just because I like things to be set because then I can just pull this whole garland off and it'll stay with all the ornaments that I put on it, all the flowers, all the greenery, will stay on it. And then I can just put it away like that and then just stick it back on next year and use this little wooden thing that I think I paid, I don't remember, I think it was maybe $8 for it, and that was a clearance price at Hobby Lobby. Um, so uh, I wanna get my use out of it. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some glue on this one here and put this one up a little bit higher just because it's also different. Wrap some garland, tie it down, and just put some more flowers here and there. Okay, so if you will put in the comments down below, um, if you want to, if you have some suggestions for some future videos, I will let you know that because now that I found out that I'm going to be a grandma, I'm probably going to be doing some projects for the baby's nursery. I need to have a little talk with my daughter-in-law and see what she wants to do. I kind of already have an idea of what they want, but I need to know exactly, you know, the colors and things like that and how how far into the theme do they want to go that they have chosen okay so I'm just going to continue putting all these little items on here so we can finish this off stem a little bit because I want the flower to show but I want to be able to slide this into my garden I don't want to just stick a straight stick in there because it's really not really might not even be gluing on to anything and it'll fall off very easily so I like to bend it so I can kind of slide it in there and that helps to keep it from falling off okay one more flower Put it right here this little bit has some glue on it so I'm just gonna cut that bit off. Okay. I do have some ribbon for a bow and then I want to put uh, some of these pine cones. Ah, oh, they smell so good. And a little bit of this cotton. Uh, so I'm going to take this ribbon and it's not very much and this burlapy one and I'm going to place them together and just make a simple bow out of it. But I'm going to first see how, how much length I need of the burlap and just cut off. And this, I'm just going to take it from sort of in the middle. It doesn't have to be exactly. Just pinch it, make a loop, 
pinch and twist this and then again the other side and make another loop it's kind of gather and pinch and then just twist this so I'm just making a, a basic bow I'm not doing like multiple loops on it it's just very basic and actually I don't need this long of a piece of chenille I'm gonna go kind of halfway so that I could trim part of it off save that little piece for something else all right Let's see, where would this look best? I think right about right here. So I'm just gonna use these chenille stems to kind of tie it around a piece of the garland here, a little, little branch. Just tie it in there, twist it, or you could just hot glue it in there. I'm just gonna put it in there like that. I'm not gonna hot glue it because once I have it on my wall, if I decide that, okay, I don't like where that bow is, actually, I might just move that. And I'm just gonna trim some of these little threads that come off the burlap ribbon, and then just trim the ends. I'm gonna cut them at an angle this time instead of doing my, my dovetail cut that I normally do. All right. Checking if it's still recording, okay. All right, so right here, I'm going to put a pine cone. I wanna hide these berries, so I'm just trying to kind of bend them up upward a little bit. And lots of glue on my pine cone. Right there. The berries be. I wanna hide the berries. There we go, that's what I've done so far. I'm gonna put another pine cone around here somewhere and then maybe one in the end. I'm gonna get this really nice big one. And I need more hot glue. There we go. I prefer to use the short little sticks because um, they don't wobble around on me and then they don't, it feels, they feel like they're coming out like this. Okay, hopefully I've got enough glue on here. I'm gonna tuck this in right here next to this other big pie cone that already existed on there and I think one more over here. Yeah. Always look at your pine cone because sometimes it's got some little crushed sides. So you want to put the crushed sides down. You know, you can still use it. Okay, so now I'm just going to let this dry and make sure that I remove all the little webbings off of it. Ah, don't want to forget that I wanted to put this cotton in there as well. It gets a little messy because it catches with it with itself with other parts especially right now that i've kind of just threw it on top of everything and let's get some on the end here i love it, it i love the cotton it gives it a very country feel to it gives it a very natural uh feel to it um also it adds some light into the uh arrangement so it gives it some light okay Trim off this one, bottom. This time I'm gonna put the one with the stem. I'm gonna put it right here, kind of behind this little bird a little bit here. And then put the other one up here somewhere. Or actually, no, I'm gonna put it over here. There we go. Okay. And I have finished this. There we go. This is ready to hang on the wall. I really like the way it came out. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you enjoyed my house tour. It wasn't a very big tour. It's just something small. Um, but still, uh, I thought you'd probably want to see it. I know that some of you said, yes, we want to see a house tour. But that was it. As you saw, I don't have very much uh, to, to show you because as I said, kind of my plans kind of changed a little bit. And, but I'm still happy with the way it is. It still feels open and spacious to us because it's a small house and I really don't want to make my house uh, so decorated that we can't move and I have to move furniture around. Um, uh, normally, what, when we were kids, we would just have a Christmas tree. Stick up a Christmas tree, maybe a couple of things that we made at school and we called it a day. That was our Christmas decor, basically growing up. And um, But I have been enjoying how things have kind of progress a little bit and now we can do a little bit more decor because more items are available to us now and then we have items like 
uh, the dollar stores uh, where we can purchase things a little less expensive. And then we're getting very creative and we're even using socks to create things. So I hope that you have enjoyed all of my videos, including the kids videos. I hope that you enjoyed my tour and this last arrangement. I do want to make a cheesecake. So that's going to be coming up for tomorrow if things work out. So be looking out for that. And then I'm going to return to my regular schedule of posting, which is on Tuesdays, a craft, and on Fridays, a recipe. So give me a big old thumbs up. I'm going to give me a big old thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you so very much to everyone who has been subscribing, to everyone who has been leaving really nice comments, a lot of encouragement coming from you. Thank you so very much. Merry Christmas to everybody. Make sure you share on your social medias, and as always, enjoy.